Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate on how to uh, connect my name to the little uh, quarter inch. Remember it should be at least a quarter inch, it could be bigger like 0 0.3, um, 0 0.5, half inch is fine. Uh, but we should also have it stretched to the outside edges here in the uh, X dimension which is the left to the right dimension. Just, just inside our artboard. Um, but we want to be able to connect our uh, name to our bottom rectangle here. Um, to do this, you got a couple steps, all right? First of all, to just, it's just always easier if we have this top control bar. If you're not seeing this line right here, make sure you go up to your workspace and turn on Essentials Classic. I forget to tr talk about this in all my videos. I have it turned on. Um, you can also use the properties piece on the side, which I think is in the Windows properties. Uh, you have all kind of the same stuff over here. Um, at the same time, we are going to uh, now just um, make a text box. So we're going to go over here and start by just clicking. Remember, don't click and drag. I'm not sure why, but in our version here at school, uh, whenever you do that, it kind of locks it in that size unless you go to the uh, actual, I guess, size of the font up here and change it. So I'm going to type out just my name. Remember, it could be your first name, last name, middle name, uh, nickname, whatever you want to have there is fine. And then I'm going to want to put it in any kind of, I guess, also select it, move it kind of where you need to be. Remember, I can click and drag the corner here to resize, and I want this to be just inside my rectangle. If uh, I plan on putting anything else around here, I want to make it smaller. It's fine. Um, and then also, I want to make sure it's overlapping my rectangle on the bottom. So I'm just going to march it down with my cursor keys, and I just want it to, just zooming in here, um, intersect or contact uh, that line from my rectangle. Now, uh, the next thing is, before we turn this into outlines, the one thing we always want to make sure is that you have it the right font that you want it to be, because uh, once you change it here, it's not going to let you change it back. Um, and then always, if you change your font, check to make sure it's still in the right spot, because all the fonts are different sizes. And then, to make an outline, we want to be in our selection tool, we want to have already selected our text box, and we want to right click, and we want to create outlines. When we hit create outlines, what it does for us is it turns our text box, which is kind of a fancy thing because it allows you to, I guess, go back in and edit it and change your text or um, do those kind of things, add to it. Now we just turned our text into shapes. So when we select it now, uh, we have them all as a, one big text shape. Uh, we can get these all individually if we right click and ungroup. I don't need to do that right now, but if you ever wanted to move some things around, shift them around, you want to ungroup them, then they'll work like individual uh, shapes. So the next thing I want to do is I need to use a shape builder tool to put these two things together. So I want to come in here and I want to click and drag to select my two boxes or I can use the selection tool to click and then hold the shift key down to click on the other box to grab both things. Um, the, the shape builder tool which is found over here on the left side looks like two circles with the navigation, the, the uh, mouse icon on there. And uh, what it allows you to do is basically make one shape out of, a couple, out of a couple of shapes, but you need to have intersections of those shapes. So I come in and I click and drag through. Oh, sorry. I didn't click on the right tool. So I did undo, which is a control Z. Good thing to practice and show, I guess. Um, coming in here, I go to my shape builder tool, and it's as easy as clicking and dragging through those two shapes to get your uh, shapes to go together but you want to do it wherever you have intersections so we don't have any extra lines going on in our piece. So I'm clicking and dragging through these pieces. If yours are smaller, it's not a bad habit to use the Alt key of the scroll wheel to zoom in to make sure you're clicking on the right thing. Now, the one thing I will say, but I, I guess it doesn't really have to happen in mine, is you can also delete by using this, and that is uh, the Alt key depressed. You can see it turns the icon from a plus to a minus. That deletes those little intersections, um, or deletes where those intersections happen. You can delete part of the, I guess, shapes that are being intersected. Um, the next thing that I want to mention is wherever you click here, it will also make a shape. So if you ever wanted to have a, uh, another type of shape from the internal, internal shapes, you can click here and that will make an independent shape that will be selectable and movable um, later on. Uh, now we have, if we select this, one big shape. If we want to cut out around here, we want to make sure we go to our stroke up here, make sure we have it to our red cut, and that we change our stroke outline. I always say 0.001 IN in class and hit enter, but it's that or 0.072 points. 
Um, if you leave the black inside, it's going to engrave it. If you come up here and you change that to white, it is going to leave it the normal wood color. If you wanted a little border, you can make a duplicate text box and put it in the other color. Anyway, um, hope this video helps. Have a good day.